Welcome back to another amazing video here on Universal Leadership Development. Today, you guys are going to be learning The Law of the Solid Ground by John C. Maxwell and his 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership. Make sure you guys have a notebook, a pen, and you're ready to take some notes because you cannot build an empire without a solid ground. So stay tuned. Law number six is the law of solid ground. And the law of solid ground says trust is the foundation of leadership. In fact, an expression I've used often that's in your workbook is this. Trust is the glue that holds an organization and the leader together. It's the glue. And I want to talk to you about trust, and I want to talk to you about integrity, I want to talk to you about character. And, and in fact, uh, to build trust in your notes, there are two things that you must, as a leader, be able to do. You must demonstrate consistent competence. Obviously, you have to consistently be competent in the area in which you're leading. And secondly, you have to demonstrate consistent character. You have to consistently be a person of integrity. And I can think of no law that probably is more important to share with you than this law. And so allow me just to talk to you about a couple of experiences I've had. Recently, I was being interviewed by the Wall Street Journal, and the person that was interviewing me said, John, I would like to talk to you about business ethics. They said, you know, in corporate America, things are not doing, going real well, and there are a lot of leaders that have probably violated the trust factor. So they said, he said, if you don't mind, I'd like to do about a 30-minute interview with you on business ethics. And I, I, I know I shocked him, and I said, well, I said, we don't need a 30-minute interview on business ethics because there's no such thing as business ethics. He got real quiet on the other phone. And the interviewer said, well, you know, I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about, all this business ethics that we've had and all the corporate side and how that these leaders are, are just not really uh, um, uh, trustworthy. And, and they said, I want you to talk to me about business ethics. And again, I said, well, I said, I'll be glad to talk to you. But I said, there's no such thing as business ethics. And then I said, there's just ethics. You either have it or you don't. And can I tell you something? If you have ethics... Guess what? It works in business. And if you don't have ethics, it doesn't work in business. If you have ethics, it works in your community. If you don't have it, it doesn't work in the community. There's no such thing as family ethics or, or, or community ethics or business. No, 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 no. There's just ethics. You got it or you don't. You're either a person of integrity or, a person, or you're not. You're either a person that has character or you're a person that doesn't have character. And then we got into an amazing, wonderful 35-minute conversation about integrity and character and ethics. Now, what I want you to understand about this law of solid ground is that, that it's character and it's also competence. I, I, I don't in any way want to take away from, from the issue of confidence. Uh, you, you have to consistently perform well if you're going to lead. And you have to consistently do right if you're going to lead. And, and you can't substitute what You can't say, okay, I'm a person of character. <laughs> I, I want you to follow me because I'm, I, you know, I'm true to my word. I won't tell you a lie. I'm a great person of integrity. Oh, by the way, I'm a lousy leader. I'm not competent, but follow me. I, can I tell you, I don't want to follow somebody that has great character and low competence. Do you? You know, the good news is you can trust them. The bad news is you trust them in bad places <laughs> because they didn't lead you well. So uh, it's not like I want to have you to have character without competence, but I also don't want you to have competence. In other words, be a very good leader, understand, and have leadership skills and abilities. I don't want you to be a great leader and lack character because I'm not going to be able to trust you. And one won't substitute for the other. And what we have to understand about the law of solid ground is that in the law of solid ground, we either, um, we either grow and get better in this area and increase our trust level or we decrease it, and we become worse in it. And the best way that, I think the best way to explain this, perhaps, is, is to illustrate it. And, and uh, if, if you'll allow me, Chuck, let, let me illustrate with you, okay? The best, way I, the best way I can explain this law is building trust 
is like having change in your pocket, okay? And, and, and so what, what, what I'm going to do is, let's say that I've just come to the company. I'm, I'm the new kid on the block, and uh, I have a kind of a leadership position, and you want me to do well, and Chuck, you're kind of like chairman of the board or whatever it is, okay? So, so anyway, what you do is you give me X amount of change of which I am to operate. In other words, you, you, you feel I'm trustworthy, you hired me because of character. So, so, okay, and what you're going to do is I'm going to either, because I'm a trustworthy person when I come to the company, I'm going to either increase the tra change or I'm going to decrease the change. For example, let's say I don't have very good character. I lack integrity. I, I, I'm not trustworthy. I don't always tell the truth. And, and so let's say, you know, I've been here maybe three or four months, and you ask me about a report of, of which I, I, I make an excuse which you know is not true. Well, every time, every time I do something that's not trustworthy, I give up some change out of my pocket. Do you see what I'm saying? But it's okay because I still have change. And as long as I have change, I can still operate because there's a certain level of trust I still have. But, but let's say a month or two later, you find that, that, um, that I, I, I'm, I'm not trustworthy in another area. And, and perhaps uh, I, I've gone over to, to Bridget's office, and, and again, she comes to you and says, you know what, I don't, think he, I don't think he's truthful with me in this matter. Well, every time, every time what happens is every time I, I don't do well, I give up change. But it's okay because I still have some change. See, as long as I have change in my pocket, I can operate. Well, let's say a few more months go to by, and, and now there are other people who are beginning to talk about the fact that I'm not probably a, a person of my word, and, and they, they're not sure they can really trust me, and, and so you talk to me about it. And, and so that, Now, what happens is there's a day when, when I do something I shouldn't have done, and I walk, in, I walk into your office, and, and what I've been doing is I've been using my change. I've been, I've been living off of goodwill. You follow me? I've been living off of the slack that you gave me. And, and this time, Chuck, I come into the office and you say, John, you know, here's another issue. And I, I, and I reach automatically what I do. I reach in my pocket. And, and that, isn't it interesting? Instead of changing my ways, I want to live off of goodwill. And this time when I reach, reach, I reach in my pocket this time, and when I do it this time, this, this is a picture of a leader in trouble. <laughs> I'm out of gas. I have no more change in my pocket. It's over. I'm going to have to go to a new organization. Why? Because I have used up the change in my pocket. Now, as I can deplete it by doing things uh, lacking character and lacking integrity, it's also true that if I do things that show character, I increase my change. I was just reading the other day, and this is huge, about a CEO that told his employees, brought together a company meeting, and he said, let me tell you something. If anybody in this company asks you to do anything that's wrong, here's my personal phone number. And anybody ever ask you to tell a lie, anybody ever ask you to, to fudge a report, anybody ever ask you something that violates your integrity, he said, you don't need to go to your supervisor. He said, you call me immediately. I thought, what a huge statement. Well, Chuck, if I'm trustworthy and you begin to see that I am a person of my word and that I do follow through and I do take responsibility, what happens is you start giving me some change. And so I come back. <laughs> Chuck, look at that. I love this. Come here, come here. Hey, Chuck. Now, now Chuck, I, I've given him a five. I've given him a 20. I've given him a 50. I even gave him a $100. I mean, I gave him some bills. You got me? So, so, so when, I, when Chuck is now giving me back change, he looks through all the bills and gives me a five back. <laughs> and, 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 I mean, Chuck, Chuck, Chuck he's, he's very stingy now. He's, he's slowly, you know, he's, all, all, all right, if, here's five. You know, here's five. Now, let me just stop here for a moment because Chuck and I didn't plan this at all. We're just talking. But I want to tell you something. This is exactly the way it works. Listen very carefully. In the area of character, you lose it a lot quicker than you get it back. And when you start violating issues of integrity with people, and they begin to realize that you've probably manipulated them, violated them, I promise you that as you try to build that trust level back, <laughs> they'll dole it out one dollar at a time. You lose it a lot quicker than you gain it. Does that make sense? Yeah. Now, what's happening here in this illustration with Chuck is, if I continue to be trustworthy, 
check will give me a little bit more change. And you're still going to the lowest dollars, aren't you? Huh? And, and I say, thank you. And by the way, every time he gives me a little bit of change, boy, I've got more change in my pocket. And, and, and then we come up another time, and, 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 I do, and I'm, I'm just showing trustworthiness. I'm showing character. I'm showing integrity. I'm making right decisions. Maybe not even good for me, but good for the company. And I get a little more. And every time, I say, boy, Chuck. And you know what? After a while, I start liking our meeting. Because I'm liking our meetings because I'm gaining change. I had a guy one time tell me, he said, well, you know, I don't like my board meetings. I don't like my, my meetings when I get the key players together. And I said, it's because you're losing change. Let me tell you something. If you're losing change with people, you don't like meeting with them. But if you're getting change, if, if you go to a meeting, you know you're going to get some more bucks. Huh? Boy, you say, this is going to be a good meeting. See, you're either building in, you're either, de you're either depositing or you're withdrawing in this area of solid ground and trust and so I do well and I get a little bit more and you know this is the fourth time you've given me something I three times I had all the money to you and it's taken but I do well and I keep coming back and finally I get that last piece now now, now here's where here's what I want you to see here's what I want you to see you know you're on solid ground when you walk around your company or you walk around your department or your place of business and your pockets are loaded with change. You know, in fact, if you have to walk around with a limp, you know, what, you know why, is it, why, why are you limping? Huh? I'm just loaded with change. That's your goal. In fact, the goal of a leader, the goal of a leader is to increase his or her change in their pocket. In fact, let me say this. Hang on, hang on. Here we go. You cannot make changes in the organization unless you have change in your pocket. It takes a lot of change in your pocket to make big changes in your company. Isn't that true? But if there's a high integrity level and there's a lot of trust level and the, and the law of solid ground is there, you can make a lot of huge changes. It could be very, very successful, but it takes change in your pocket to make changes in your organization. And I want you just to take a moment and look at a couple of statements I have in your notes. Statements such as a leader cannot continually break trust with people and continue to influence them. Oh, the questions are huge. Questions such as, do I have change in my pocket? Is my change increasing or decreasing? Do I pass the integrity test? Somebody says, what's the integrity test, John? The integrity test is this. With integrity, the longer I lead, the better it gets. Without integrity... The longer I lead, the worse it becomes. That is so true. The law of solid ground says trust is the foundation of leadership. And there we go, guys. Another amazing video. Lots of powerful information. I hope you guys take notes. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And within the description below, there is a link so you guys can go ahead and test your knowledge. See how much information you retain today. And if you have any questions and if you felt uh, that this was very helpful, let me know in the comments what did you like the best. Thank you.